welcome students today we are going to discuss the third part of second module of basics of electrical and electronics engineering lecture 2 the learning objectives are Explain the RMS value, average value, form factor and peak factor of alternating waveforms. Solve average value, RMS value, form factor and peak factor of waveforms. Once uh, we got RMS value and average value, then we can easily calculate form factor and uh, peak factor. There are certain methods to find out RMS value and average value. The first method is analytical method or integral method. And the second method is mid ordinate method or graphical method. So, what is RMS value? By definition, the RMS value of alternating current that is IRMS is given by that the DC current which when flows through a given resistance for a given time produces the same amount of heat as produced by the alternating current when flow through the same resistance for the same time. So for a given resistance the DC current produces the same heat as that of alternating current so in this heat is produced by AC current and DC current combined the resistance and time being kept constant the value of DC current which produces the same heat as the unknown AC current is known as RMS value of AC the first method analytical method from the basic definition the heat is depends on RMS value so heat is proportional to I, I square we know that so therefore the AC value we must square first then average or mean value is find out then after that the root is taken to get effective value sometimes RMS value is also known as effective value so the equation of the sinusoidal alternating current is given by I is equal to IM sin theta as we already discussed in previous lecture and the equation of the squared wave is i square is equal to im square sin square theta so this is the waveforms this is the sine waveform and this is the squared sine waveform that is im square sin square theta How we can find out mean of square of instantaneous value over its first half cycle that is it is nothing but it is the area of the first half cycle of the squared wave first half cycle of the squared wave divided by its base its base is nothing but 0 to pi we have a positive half cycle so the base is nothing but pi the area is nothing but integral 0 to pi i square d theta this is the i square half cycle positive half cycle so 1 by pi which is the base 0 to pi i m square sin square theta take integral 
that is im square by pi we can take it as constant and uh, integral 0 to pi instead of sine square theta uh, we can write 1 minus cos 2 theta that is integral 0 to pi 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 that is uh, im square by 2 pi integral 1 minus cos 2 theta d theta so that is im square by 2 pi theta minus instead of 1 theta cos 2 theta by 2 2 we can take it as take it outside so sin 2 theta is the integral of the cos 2 theta sin 2 theta by 2 is the integral of the cos 2 theta so the final answer is i m square by 2 this is the mean of the squared wave but our aim is find out rms value rms value is nothing but root of mean of square value that is root mean square value is given by i m root of i m square by 2 that is i m by root 2 that is 0 0.707 i m this for a sinusoidal current the rms value is i m by root 2 that is maximum value by root 2 is equal to 0 0.707 i m this is the rms value of the sinusoidal current rms value of the sinusoidal voltage is nothing but vm by root 2 that is 0 0.707 vm next method is mid ordinate method in this the entire positive half cycle is divided into n equal time intervals in this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 equal intervals are there so n is equal to 7 then you can find out i1 you can easily find out i1 i1 take square then i2 take square i3 etc i1 square plus i2 square plus etc i n square by n which is the i square we are discussing root mean square so take root of the above equation that is square root of mean of square root mean square i is equal to root of i1 square plus i2 square plus etc up to i n square by n this is the rms value of current i rms in mid ordinate method similarly for alternating voltage e is equal to e1 square plus e2 square plus etc up to e n square by n <coughs> the rms value of emf and current are commonly represented by upper letters that is e and i uppercase letter we have to write for rms value for emf and current the next one average value the basic definition is the steady current which transfers across any circuit the same amount of charge as is transferred by the alternating current during the same time in the previous rms value uh, we were dealing with heat now we are dealing with charge in other words arithmetic mean of the ordinates at equal intervals over a half cycle of the wave it is average value if the arithmetic mean is found out over the complete cycle it will be zero for sinusoidal as well as for non-sinusoidal wave provided the wave shape is symmetrical
so there is no need of uh, finding arithmetic mean over the complete cycle of the symmetrical waveforms the first method analytical method so this is the waveform the first step is area of the first half cycle we have to find out and divided by its space i average is equal to <coughs> 0 to integral 0 to pi i d theta which is the first positive half cycle divided by base base is nothing but pi is the base so i m by pi minus cos theta the answer is 2 i m by pi that is i m by pi by 2 that is 0 0.637 i m it uh, this is the value of i average mid ordinate method here also we will take arithmetic mean of ordinate at equal intervals over a half cycle of the wave that is an entire pos positive half cycle is divided into n equal time intervals seven equal intervals i1 i2 i3 i4 etc then take i average is equal to i1 plus i2 plus etc up to i n by n this method can be used for both sinusoidal and non-sinusoidal waveform. This method is uh, applicable to sine and non-sine waveforms. This is the method -like method. So, once we got RMS value and average value, then we can easily calculate form factor. Form factor is nothing but it is the ratio of RMS value to the average value. That is RMS value. 0 0.707 maximum value divided by 0 0.637 maximum value that is 1.11 next peak factor is nothing but maximum value by rms value so 1 by 0 0.707 1.414 next you have to calculate average value rms value and four factor of the half wave rectifier output waveform so in this this is the positive half cycle and uh, this is the next half cycle with the voltage zero and this is the same cycle repeats so the period of the wave is 2 pi 0 to 2 pi that is this is the base one thing you have to take care of is integral pi to 2 pi the answer the emf is 0 so the period of the wave is 2 pi that is base is 2 pi the average value is 1 by 2 pi integral 0 to pi em sin theta d theta plus integral pi to 2 pi 0 d theta so the second term pi to 2 pi term will get cancelled so integral em by 2 pi minus cos theta interval 0 to pi so the answer is em by pi that is 0.318 em volts so we are discussing emf so the unit is volts next one erms erm is nothing but root of area under the square wave by base the base is common that is 1 by 2 pi 0 to pi em square sine square theta d theta so that is Instead of sine square theta, you can write 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 
and finally you will get answer as em by 2 that is 0.5 em so the last part of the question is find out form factor form factor is nothing but uh, anyway we have got rms value and average value then take the ratio that is e rms by e average is equal to 0.5 by 0.318 is equal to 1.57 so there is no unit it's a constant time form factor so next one the next one is the output of the full wave rectifier this is the full wave rectifier the cycle repeats in regular intervals pi interval 0 to pi pi to 2 pi 2 pi to 3 pi repeats so the base is nothing but the base is pi so 1 by pi into we can take area under the wave of the first half cycle so 0 to pi em sin theta d theta by pi so em by pi minus cos theta so the answer is em by pi by 2 that is 0 0.637 em volts how we can find out rms value rms value is nothing but integral root of integral 0 to pi em square sin square theta by pi which is base so the answer is em by root 2 that is 0 0.707 em form factor is e rms by e average and that is 0 0.707 by em by 0.637 which is 1.11 the additional tutorial will be given soon so the summary In this lecture, you have learned the RMS value, average value, form factor, and peak factor of alternating waveforms. So we can solve average value, RMS value, form factor, and peak factor of waveforms. Thank you.